Test, test. Can you, can you peeps hear me? And it's the music too loud. I'm basically winning this setup as we go. All right, is the music too loud? Too not loud enough? Sounds good. I'm good. Good. Uh, I'm. Give me one second. <laughs> That's not too bad. Oh, that's a problem with our guy. Yes, and yeah, this is not a it's not going to be a typical string, I believe, but, uh, just to make sure I got everything I need. But I wanted to test this out first, too. Vanessa, Daphne, Spade, hello. Yes, I'm not on camera yet, but I am here. Alfredo with fresh Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna make the I'm making the Alfredo sauce fresh. Uh, and I'm gonna make what's called prison cheesecake, which I'll explain when the we get there. But just give me a few more minutes, I just gotta make sure that I got everything I need. Enjoy the music while you're at it, while you're here. No prison pockets involved, I promise. Frozen pizza? Are you kidding me, Spade?
One second, sorry. Ah, damn it. Okay, uh, looks like I won't be able to get some music going while we're at it. But at least I could still should be able to see peeps. Okay, uh, Rydia, I don't think so. Uh, okay, all right, hold on a second. I'm gonna do this. Uh, hopefully that'll work. Hey, everybody, welcome, man. How you all doing tonight? Yeah, I know, this is not my usual, uh, my, not my usual thing I do, but I decided, you know, I'm going to try a cookie stream today. And right now, I'm going to do, we have two things on the menu right now. Uh, we have some fettuccine alfredo, uh, chicken, uh, chicken fettuccine alfredo to be exact. Uh, but we're going to make the alfredo sauce uh, fresh. We're not gonna, we're not, not gonna use any jars or any of that stuff. Uh, we're gonna just make it actually fresh. I have the ingredients here, I'm gonna show you a little bit. Uh, and then I'm gonna do something what's called a prison cheesecake. It sounds, it might sound a little gross, but honestly, it's not as bad as look once you see what's going on. So, who do we have? I, I see Meows, I see Rydia, Perfect Speed, Duck Blue. Uh, I know Goose Top up, but I'm welcoming everybody. Great to see you all. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get started. So, so right now, I have some of the ingredients right here: uh, Parmesan, butter. I'm cheating a little bit here, but we have a little bit of minced garlic, which I'm going to use. Of course, we have the fettuccine alfredo over there. I have uh, Bob. I got some boiling water going for the moment. And I will get the saucepan ready for the sauce. Alright, uh, okay. And of course, the one thing ingredient we do need, of course, heavy cream. Alright, so, anyway, uh, the first thing we need to do is to combine the butter and, and uh, heavy cream. So what I'm gonna do, grab a stick of butter. I know I need all I don't need all the freaking butter. Uh, oh, these are quarter cups. Okay, so one full I didn't know they have like quarter little pieces here, so we're gonna so basically one four of these would equal one big uh, stick of butter which I'm gonna use. I know this is gonna be a little chaotic because I've never done anything like this before. So I'm gonna go off screen a little bit here. So I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the butter. We might be good with just two of these for now, and if we need to, we'll, we'll put more in for now. Cause it's just gonna be me here, so I'll, I'll just be eating this. So less chance of fucking it up. That space looks huge. Yeah, uh, 
I got a neat little thing here too. So, all right, so we got two sticks of butter here. Then, uh, combine the heavy cream. Uh, Get this below heat for now. The heavy cream. Oh, and you know what? When in doubt, do it the other way. My fingers are slipping. There we go. Just need a little grip. I know, I'm still here. Don't worry. Yes, there we go. Pour out the heavy cream. Just uh, about half of that for now. Now. Like you see, we got the heavy cream and the butter going. That's that uh, for oh dishwasher. Oh my god, come on, Coops. What what the hell's wrong with you? Alright. Now this on low heat going. Right there. Just a little bit. Get that down so I flip it. You see me? Yep, right here. So, all right. It might take a little bit uh, for the butter to melt because, of course, this is like straight from. Maybe I should have freaking. So what do you think? Uh, should I should I throw another quarter? Uh, quarter of a of the stick in there. I might have done the. Anyway, I'm just gonna continue to whisk this, heat it up a little. More butter, more butter. Okay, you know what? Fine. I throw the other half quarter stick in there. Come on. Oh, do not want paper in there. I know the butter is starting to melt already. Haxo, hello! Good to see you, man. I'm here. That's a stick. I just got a little bit. It's already starting to bubble. Alright, so I, I tossed in the other quarter stick of uh, butter. This should be, this should be good enough. Let that incorporate. Oops. As Uncle Roger used to say, cook with feeling. And Hey, three, 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 two, uh, Laura, hello. Good to see you, Laura. Yeah, I don't have my normal toys when I stream, so it is a little bit different here. All right, the butter is starting to melt down nicely. I don't have a dishwasher. Actually, yes, for you, actually, I do. 
but we're, we're, we're Asian and we don't, uh, we don't use our dishwashers. We basically use dishwashers for, uh, for, uh, for storage. Hey, McSlapper, hello. I know you did right and I'm questioning. Go tell them question how tall you are now. Hello, Naomi, welcome in. Sorry, let me flip back. All right, the butter is almost melted. Completely melted. One stick is still sort of left. So this is pretty much almost all melted here. Let me check on the. That's still going, by the way. So. I see. I see right now. The butter is pretty much almost melted. In fact, it pretty much is all melted. I don't feel any more bits of the butter. I know it's weird holding the camera and the, uh, because I have that on the stand right now and. Anyway, so we're back. Yeah, this is gonna be. I'm gonna be flipping back and forth between uh, between the camera and angles here because I don't have to, I don't have a laptop, so I couldn't use my normal. Uh... All right, so this is starting to thicken up. No, that's not the Okay, so. Next thing you do, I'm gonna throw a little bit of uh, minced garlic in there. I know, I know people are probably telling me why not use the fresh stuff. I understand that, but I'm trying to be la a little bit lazy. I'm not gonna put a whole lot in here. Uh, maybe a teaspoon. I don't want to overpower it with the, uh, with the garlic. And then a little pepper. A little pepper. Salt. I don't like too much salt. Mm. Right, let's mix this up a bit more. And now for the big one. Let's start uh, putting. Let's start putting the actual Parmesan cheese in. So, again, Parmesan cheese. Lexi, hello. We're making uh, we're making Alfredo sauce right now. That's it for now. And now we're playing more when uh so let that mix in. 
But uh, Lexi, how are you doing today? I can feel the pot for the pasta going on soon. Is it good? Good to hear that. And this recipe also, the one that I got, well, there's a little bit of cream cheese in this. Supposedly, this actually makes it a little bit more thicker. And I've kept this out, so it should melt pretty quickly. Ask you the cream cheese because we're going to be eating that again later. So we're going to start out a little bit, let that melt a bit, and incorporate that into the into the uh, I'm doing good. Uh, this is my first time ever done a cooking stream, so I know things might look a little ghetto. In, in terms of production values, but you know, first time for everything. And hopefully, you learn from your web mistakes and also uh, hopefully, a little bit better production. But you now, okay. Let me turn down the water for the pasta a bit. Right. It's been setting in room temperature. So let me just up the heat a bit. Hey, Kane, welcome in, man. I honestly don't know how I look right now on Twitch, so... But I'm pretty sure at least people can hear it. As long as people can hear it and see me, I'm good with that. Alright, this is starting to melt a bit, which is a good thing. Let's add a little bit more Parmesan. Now the part that sucks is that because I'm just doing this for myself here because I'm only, I'm the only person in this house at the moment for at least over the next week and a half. Uh, I can't exactly make uh, for, for a bunch of people. I'm just making this basically for me. And yeah. Yeah, Throck, welcome in. We are making Alfredo sauce right now. Fresh meat Alfredo sauce. Alright. The cream cheese is starting to go. I'm not working, Kane. I'm on vacation, remember? This is, well, this is technically a staycation, but yeah. Dragon, I know how to, I've been using gas stoves my entire life. I know what I'm doing. Cheese are starting to melt up good. Hopefully, this can make a nice, thicker sauce. It still feels a little runny, though. I mean, I've never actually made Alfredo sauce. I'm usually pretty lazy and just, uh. <laughs> Lord Dial Kate, welcome in. So anyway, you are still working on your sauce. Still simmering. Hopefully we'll get most of the cream cheese melted away. The 
garlic is starting to smell really nice though. Alex, hello. Give you an idea what's going on. What do you guys think? Looks pretty, uh, it's starting to thick, it's actually starting to thick out a little bit. Ryan, hello. Yeah, I don't have my, I don't have my own stream up right now, so I can't really tell who's coming in and stop. throw a little bit, just a little bit more Parmesan cheese. Maybe three heaping teaspoons of it. That should, pro that should probably do it more. Incorporate that, let it mix a bit. How you doing today? All right, this is honestly looking mighty good right now. Uh, I want to get a taste of this in a second. I probably should put up more spoons. Unfortunately, I don't think Randy Savage is going to pop out of this sauce, but... Alright. So, just a very low heat. I'm going to give this a try. Oh. Okay, I might have used a little bit too much Parmesan. Uh, but I can taste it. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, more cream just to thin it out a little bit. But I think, I think it's right where it's at. Well, I think this is right where it needs to be. I'm gonna pour just a tiny bit of oh, cream. Goops, god damn it! <laughs> All right, so let's. All right, this might be a little bit too thin for. My personal taste, I like, I kind of like a thick sauce, but you know what? This is, I, this is pretty damn good though. All right, try that once again. All right, that's better. You can still, you can still taste the Parmesan and a little bit of the garlic, but, uh... <laughs> Alright, well, okay. Let it cook down a bit and it should thicken. Sure then. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna set this to really low. Uh... Meanwhile, the pasta is ready. Let this heat back up, boil a bit. 
Jayku, I, uh, <laughs> this is the first time I'm cooking on stream. It's not like I can't have, right, hello. All right, I'm gonna let the water reboil up a bit. I had it, I had it going for the start, but now, uh, but it, I had to turn it down a bit because uh, it got to the over point. Anyway, Rat, I'll let you take a look at this. That's the Alfredo sauce, the fresh one. I say it looks pretty damn good. I tried it. And right, uh, I'm making right now, we're making, uh, we're gonna make a uh, chicken Alfredo, uh, chicken chicken Alfredo with, uh, and I just made the, uh, Alfredo sauce, which you just saw earlier. I'm waiting for the pasta, or uh, the water to, uh, really boil up. Which will probably be a few minutes. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this, man. down a little bit. Meanwhile, throw a pinch of salt. Because there we go, every time. Alright, that should be enough for this. I think the, the, uh, the water should have been really shipped already, so I'm gonna... Okay. I say that's enough for a calling person, don't you think? Yes, I know, including your so-called uh, edible underwear, which I should bonk you for that. All right, I'm gonna just throw a little bit more. Good now. Get the tongs. Pasta before we're good on that. So, uh, wait for that to reboil in about 10 minutes afterwards. Rainbow, hello, Eva. Meanwhile, continue to keep this stirring. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, 
I think we're good for now. The pasta's cooking. The uh, pasta's cooking. The, the Alfredo is cooking that a bit. Let's make sure I occasionally stir this. But yeah, a little bit on the thin side, but I think that's enough. Alfredo sauce isn't really meant to be like super thick, but. And I'm gonna throw a little bit more pepper in there. Uh, yeah, I will post. I will post the recipe later. I promise. I'll put it up on the same cooking in Discord. I'm gonna throw a little bit more pepper in there. Cause pepper is always good. And this, this isn't Asian cooking, poke ups. <laughs> so, start that in a bit. But, and wanna, but actually, you know what? Since you made that joke, There we go. I know it's backwards, but this is a authentic MSG right here. Mono cinnamon. <laughs> I told you I had some. Accent? What's uh? What's accent? I don't know me walking in. Gotta make sure I keep my floors clean. Alright, the noodles are cooking, maybe another another ten minutes. If you need a meat tenderizer, I got your meat tenderizer right here. Now this will tenderize meat really good. See? Flat end, pork end. Now this is cooking down a little bit better, so. A little bit more thicker sauce, which would be nice. This will be on a couple minutes. I'm gonna actually toss that here better. Now, uh, what A little bit. I already have some uh, prepared chicken, uh, cooked chicken I got from Price Club when I was going shopping. Uh, but this is basically already cooked chicken. Uh, I don't. Have, I just basically had to heat it up. I'm gonna cheat a little bit by using the uh, the uh, microwave for a bit. Uh, make sure. Actually, can I throw it for now? Like I said, the chicken's already cooked, so I, uh... 
But uh, so I don't really like need to heat. I just basically have to heat it up. All right, uh, about another couple of minutes. Pasta's coming over pretty nicely. Rally! Holy shit! Welcome in, dude. How are you tonight, sir? So, uh, Rally, we are making, uh, Chicken, uh, chicken fettuccine alfredo, but I am making the alfredo sauce here from scratch, like you see right there. And we got the pasta going. Uh, it'll be probably another five minutes or so. Wait, Contra? Holy shit, Contra, dude. Welcome, Contra. Welcome, Raiders. Uh, yeah, this is not my normal... Uh, this is not my normal stream thing, but I'm trying something new here. Uh, so we are cooking actually right now. Uh, Makatra, good to see you. How did the rest of uh, the senses go for you? My PB is okay. <laughs> Alright, let me just check on the chicken. Chicken ready. So keep that now. But we're, but contract, thank you for the raid, man. You are very much appreciated, man. Alright. Let's go cook me. Keep your watch of the timer here, uh and yes. The Simpsons, Bart versus the Space Mutants, that game is absolute total shit. <laughs> okay. A couple of more minutes, I think the pasta should be ready. <laughs> My next here, welcome back. Now we keep making the stirring, make sure. I'll probably start heating it up again just before. Uh... Alright. Be right back. Uh, this is the no bake uh, variety, uh, and Simon. <laughs> just so you know, Simon, not all the th all the food pics I pick, I post are my own creations. Some of them are, but not all of them are. So I'm not. Ex I I can cook, but I'm not exactly the best cook in the world. So let me just temper expectations right now. So should just be about ready. Might be a little. But anyway, how do you how do you people like your pasta? Uh... All right, get that ready for a bit. Um, okay. 
So pasta is just about ready. I mean, it still feels pretty firm, but eating cookie. <laughs> okay. Show nudes? Uh, yeah, I'll show nudes. Here. There. Nudes. Uh, pool cups, no, uh, no music here. Uh, this is not the normal, uh, this is not our normal, yes, I did salt the pasta, of course. That's like the cardinal rule, isn't it? <laughs> Always salt, always salt your uh, your water for pasta. All right, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. A lot thicker now. Still just as cheesy. Pasta is just about done. I'm gonna strain. Be right back. Uh, let me just tilt this a bit. Actually, not screw it. Just gonna keep it on me for now. Sorry, I've got to keep this story. Keep it. All right, I'm going to turn, turn the heat off here. Sauce is just about ready as well. Here, go. Pasta is draining at the moment. I'm pretty sure that's going to be good. Very outdated, J. Crew. Interesting. I personally am like um, I personally like my pasta is a little on the softer side, but I don't mind a little, like a little crunch, like a tiny little crunch. You know, like it's not like I don't know how to describe it. Maybe it's just uh, like a solid crunch. No, no, not solid crunch. Like something firm, but not like crunchy. <laughs> so. Okay, uh, let me see. Alright, let me get the chicken, and then we're gonna plate up. Alright. Actually, before I plate up, uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put pasta in the bowl. I know I don't have multiple camera angles here, so uh, that's it for now. So there, pull the pasta. Ladle up the uh, sauce. And I'm going to toss it a little bit. Hold on. Give me one second. All right. Toss this up a bit. Make sure we coat it up pretty good. Uh, 
Bust that up. I think that's sauced up pretty good. Now we're going to plate. much for myself but that's okay like some people say leftovers all right so we got plate there it's got that uh, let me just sauce up the rest of the noodles we still got a little bit leftover so we're gonna you know what we're gonna finish it off today I know I'm all camera a bit so but I'll be back I promise. Now there's already some sauce in here, so I'm just going to maybe one little sauce. chicken I always say I probably shouldn't mix the chicken in. That's totally fine. I'll do that when I actually eat the thing. In one second, I'll be back. I promise. Just a tiny bit more sauce. Not a whole lot. Cook that up. And folks. There you have it, fettuccine chicken, ch uh, chicken ch uh, fettuccine alfredo, right there. Get a good pick, peeps, because there it is. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put this over here for now. I'll be back. All right, we're good to go here now. Uh, All right, try. There you go, okay, right there. Yeah. So, there we go. Play the, right there. Give it a go. Get a little bit of pasta. Oh, that's great. That's absolutely great. Better than, honestly, better than any of the, uh, of the, uh, like the bottle sauces, like the like the ragu or whatever. This is all, I think this is a lot better. Holy shit, this is good. Get a little chicken here too. Mm. 
Might be a little bit too big for for me, but you know what? It's fine. I don't care. This is absolutely this is absolutely delicious. Oh, the sauce uh, tuna lick is uh, butter, uh, heavy whipping cream, uh, par uh, grated Parmesan cheese, and uh, cream cheese. A little bit of cream cheese. Not a whole lot, like maybe half a pack of cream cheese. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, the recipe I found. Uh, the recipe I found said like that's the way. Uh, if you want a quick way of thickening, thickening up the uh, the sauce is to use cream cheese. But yeah, there you go. That's the plate right there. Look at that. Get a good shot of that. I will put another. I will go. Uh, I will go put that in the picture in the Discord as well. But now we are going to part two of this cooking stream, which is the dessert. I'm pretty sure you all want to know what this is. So, basically, I'm going to make what's called, uh, I know it's called, it's called, uh, hold on, damn it. Here we go. It's called a uh, prison cheesecake. Now, basically, it's like a, it's a no-bake, uh, uh, to, actually, no, I didn't tuna lick. I just basically, uh, I heated up the cream cheese, and uh, no, I'm sorry, I heated up the, uh, the butter, and the, uh, and then added the cream, and added the, uh, the cream, and then the, uh, the, the heavy cream, whippy cream, and the, and the cream cheese over, uh, I, I put it over a saucepan. But anyway, so the, uh, the prison cheesecake is a no, it's a no-bake, um, it's a no-bake, uh, it's a no-bake cheesecake. Uh, it's basically gonna be a couple of ingredients. I'm gonna grab them right now. At least some of them. What we have right now, bread crackers, uh, lemon juice, and I'm going to need a stick of margarine. We're gonna make the crust. We're gonna make the crust first. Uh, I use the store bought ones uh, because, like, uh, like they actually charge the, the place where I got the, the the parmesan. They actually charge. They actually want to charge me for uh, for uh, the grated, like fresh grated. Uh, but honest, as I think, honestly, as long as you get like the grated stuff and not like the shaved, I think you'll be all right. And just don't use like, you know, like they, like the ones in the cans. Uh, like they usually like what they give you for in restaurants to pour. Uh, if you want like par uh, Parmesan cheese on your pasta in restaurants, don't use those. I'm be to I'd be told like not to use those. Okay, so we're gonna make the uh, the crust for this ch uh, cheesecake right now. Uh, basically, it's basically graham crackers and margarine. So what I'm going to do, get that plastic bag. So when I get a plastic bag, I'm going to throw one whole packet of, uh, of graham crackers into this thing. Just one whole package of this, and we're basically going to make the uh, the crust. Basically, I'm gonna turn this into crumble. So just 
And now I'm just gonna take it and mash it the fuck up right here. Yep, flathead. <laughs> ah, shit. I think I broke it again. Damn it. All right. Maybe a little bit gentler. And just basically try to mash up the rest of the big stuff. You kind of want to make this as fine as you can. Okay, I think that should be good enough. See a nice little crumbly, not too crumbly, but so. Both. And this bag is pretty much done for. Again, see right there. Just all crushed up. And then, for the work, uh, I'm gonna heat up the margin real quick. Heat it for about maybe 10, uh, 15 seconds. I just want to soften it up. I don't want to melt it completely. So anyway, goes in there. And basically this is gonna be your dough for uh for uh for the for the cross, basically. So we're gonna mix this up my uh I don't want to use my hands just yet. I probably should, but at least not totally yet. Uh, you'll see, uh, I'm gonna use some cream cheese later. Uh, yeah, tuna leak, I thought about that, but I think uh, just like, you want to make a, basically you're trying to make a dough out of this. So I'm just going to work it a little bit. I'm 
All right, now. All right, now is the time to use your hands a bit. I <laughs> crushed the pieces of a Super Mint 64. I thought about that tuna lick, but I, uh, the crust that I made earlier was already sweet enough, so I don't think I needed additional taste, uh, I don't need additional, uh, sugar in it, because this, it's graham cracker, basically, so. Alright. Q-Duck, hello! Uh, we just finished making, uh, uh, Chicken chi uh, fettuccine Alfredo. So right now we're making what it's called uh, it's called uh, prison cheesecake. I know it sounds like a misnomer, but I promise you there is no prison pockets involved in this. So we're working the dough a bit. <laughs> it's probably not the most smoothest dough, but it should suffice. I thought it's nice. Okay, so I think the dough is mostly ready. It's not going to be like the most smoothest, but you have to remember, you if you were basically doing this in prison, so you gotta make you gotta make do with what you got. And I think this is going to be good enough. At least I hope it's good enough. My first attempt at this meat uh, kind of failed. I'll show. I'll actually show the results of the, uh, after I'm done here. So, all right, I think it just is good enough, ready? Let me go wash my hands real quick. Actually, I'm not Oh, great, I guess you're out of music. And I already want to read. Alright, they say they use Tupperware. I don't have a Tupperware container. So, I am going to use this. That sounded weird. So, basically, you're going to make a crust out of this. Actually, I should probably do half a time. So basically what you're doing right now is you're gonna t I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna work it into a crust. Oh shit, this might not actually be enough. Shit, okay. You know what, it's fine. I guess I wanna at least show you like the beginnings of how is this supposed to be made. 
I mean, again, I, I never actually baked, so this is not exactly a... I don't claim to be an expert in, uh... Stone Death, hello! Oh, hello! Uh, we're making what's called Prison Cheesecake right now, uh... So basically, I'm gonna try to make a pie crust, so to speak. I know it's not the best. <laughs> I don't really bake a lot, so. I'm trying to work this into a, like a, at least a workable crust. And again, remember, you have to think about this uh, as uh, you're in prison and you're working with what shit you can find in a prison commissary. That's the concept behind these anyway. So yeah, I'm basically trying to make a crust out of it, a pie crust, so to speak. I know, it's not exactly the worst. Chris, hello! Alright, this isn't exactly the... I admit, I'm not exactly confident about the crust part anyway. Try to make this as thin as possible without actually. And then I'm just supposed to microwave this afterwards, so make it a solid. I know it's not exactly the best, but we're gonna go. we're gonna work with it. we have to do we have to microwave this thing uh what did this say for microwave on high for one to two minutes all right this is gonna have to do i don't know i normally don't bake to begin with so i'm pretty sure however this is it's not gonna go great Issues are going to be clean after it. Because these things start to look like freaking oatmeal for crying out loud. Hold on.
I may be used to maybe too much margarine on this. Hold on. Yo, okay, buy this. Hello. <laughs> Okay, I'm not liking this though, I admit, it's probably the second time I screwed this crust up. But yeah, uh, Mike, uh, you missed the, uh, the Alfredo, which has honestly turned out much better than I hoped it would. Uh, but yeah, dessert is not exactly going so well, but we'll try to salvage it as best I could. Alright. Alright, I, I salvage it the best as I can, but I don't think this is this is probably the best I'm gonna get it. I can see. Right there. I know it doesn't look appetizing for the moment, but hopefully it'll come out okay later. But now we're gonna make the filling for this. Uh I don't have enough to make another batch, to be honest, so... Okay, so the, uh, the filling... ...is gonna be this, basically. Uh, four cups of vanilla pudding. One whole stick of, uh, of cream cheese. Lemon juice, which I have over here. And lastly, where is it? Where is it? Lastly, coffee creamer. Now you're probably wondering how the hell am I gonna mix this up? Uh, I tried to make this earlier today. Uh, it did not go as well as I hoped it would go. So instead, I have a secret weapon right now. So we're gonna use this. I'm not gonna, <coughs> I'm not gonna like, uh, I don't have I don't have a mixer. That's the, that's the problem. But, so I'm gonna try to use the blender. Uh, and I'm just gonna pulse it to, uh, until, uh, until uh, it gets to consistency. Cause the last thing I tried to do, it, it wasn't too, uh, so, I'm going to do this. Blender. I know that I vessel, I know. Uh, wait. I don't have a mixer. That's the problem. What do you want me? I can't. Uh, I have to make this thing smooth as possible. The last time I made, uh, the before when I made this thing, it's lumpy. It, it's too lumpy. You know, and I don't have I don't have like a hand mixer either, like the like an actual like electric mixer. I don't have any of those. I don't normally bake to begin with. So what 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 would you? I I tried to hand I tried to hand mix it. It didn't go. It didn't go. Uh, mix it by hand and then with a spoon. Okay. Give it a try. Um, I'll get. Just put it in a little mixer. Jesus Christ, you guys are comedians. No, I don't have a whisk either. I don't use. I don't normally use these items. But. But I did soften up the cream cheese. I left it out just before I start, uh, like an hour before I started the stream. I normally don't bake at all. I normally do not bake. The biggest baking item I ever done was, uh, was, uh, I make a cha which is ch uh, Chinese steamed pork roast bun. And even then, we don't really bake it, you just steam it. You make the dough and then you steam the dough. Okay? Cream cheese. Let me 
get a spoon. So now I'm putting four of these cups. Actually, you know what? Let's just start with two and then we can add more if we need to. I got a feeling four may be too much. So one. Two. I'm thinking three right now. Might be do it. One more. You think so? So right now I, ha I have two in here right now. So you know what? Okay. Let's mix with two. The thing is, I, the, uh, you gotta make this as not lumpy as you can, so. And the cream cheese and pudding don't exactly like to mix very well. Put in a bag and drop on it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but at least it looks a little better than the one I previously made. You know what? Next time, I, I'm, I'm probably just gonna buy a fucking uh, pre-made pre, uh, pre crust. Because look, honestly, this crust over there uh, I'm looking at right now does not look too good. <laughs> But on the plus side, this might actually set better. What do you think? Ideas? Good? Bad? Should I mix it some more? This may actually set a lot better, to be honest. I was hiding of that mixture 20 years ago during pit. <laughs> I mean, has he still given up with that, with that picture, what was supposed to be his picture? He got a Corpsman's, uh... Got a Corpsman's Discord, he put a picture of himself back in his, uh, days at, uh, at Alabama, like, when he was in the drum thing. When you mix the better, it should... Let's, uh, not the butter way for the crust. Uh... You know, I'll keep that in advice me too, like, I, I appreciate that. I don't have enough to make another crust, to be honest. So... We'll see, uh, yeah. But I'll, I'll keep that in mind the next time. If there is a next time. Alright, so, I'm gonna mix this a little bit more. And honestly, it this, this looks a lot better than... The first uh, filling I made wasn't exactly the best. Okay, so mix this up a bit more. Honestly, uh, let's. Before we do that, we're supposed to add a little bit of lemon juice. And then a bit of coffee creamer.
That's what the recipe gave me. Just a bit more. Hey, Crunchy, how you doing? Welcome in. So we're mixing this up a bit. And honestly, you know what? This looks this looks a lot better than the first crust, uh, the first filling I made. The crust, yeah, could still use some improvement, but this, honestly, I think this might work out a lot better. All right, I'm gonna taste this really quick. Oh wow, this is a lot better. This actually kind of does taste like cheesecake, to be honest. At least the filling, anyway. All right, uh, as for this, oh boy. All right, you know what? Uh, all right. I still have some graham cracker. I still have some margarine. We're gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, we're gonna try. I'm gonna, I don't think I have enough for a big can of crust. Uh, but I think we'll have enough for a small, uh, smaller container. Give me one second. Uh, Let me get a, let me get a bag, another bag, and then uh, we'll try this again. This should do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give up on this filling because this filling, this filling here is definitely a lot better. Set that to the side. We're gonna do this again. Leftover. This is the rest of the grand process. So I'm gonna do it. Oh God damn it! How are you doing, by the way? Mash it up. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, all right, I got a 
wash the dish real quick. Give me one second. I made a bit of a mess here. I had to clean up really quick. going to melt the butter for sure, margarine for sure. Yes, you are, sleeper. Welcome in. All right, time to break out the margarine, and yes, this time I will melt the whole thing. There you go. See, this time, totally melted down butter. You have to understand, I don't have a, uh, my camera, I'm basically on a camera. Oh shit, this might be a little too much shit. Okay, hold on a second. I didn't mean to do that. You know what? Okay. Should put the crust in first. So again, crushed up graham cracker. in the butter a little bit, a little bit at first. I probably used, I should have used the other bowl, but I don't have a There should be enough of that small container I have. Yes, I, uh, I have the filling. The crust I initially made wasn't good enough. It's not holding. So I'm, I'm remaking the crust. But now I think I put too much butter in this. Shit, okay. Feels like I 
I thought about the chopsticks out for it, but yeah, not probably. All right, I gotta transfer this to another bowl. Too much butter. Sorry. <laughs> Still might be a bit too much butter, but at least this feels a lot better now. Cause I, I got the filling down. I just don't wanna waste the filling just because I fucked up on the crust. But this is basically the crust of it. I'm gonna use this for the crust, uh, to hold the crust. And and now I'm actually kind of kicking myself. I probably really should have used pre-made crust. But that would kind of violate the spirit of the build, you know? I don't know if you guys could see that. All right, so this is really just enough for a little pie, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I, okay, that's the number two. Not too much butter. I gotta use less, cause I feel the oil stick. <sighs> Plus I'm kind of getting hungry right now. I still smell the pasta that I made earlier. Okay, so it won't be a big pie, but... I have a, a measure cup in the back. Oh yeah, I have a spoon, definitely. Alright, this looks a lot better. Alright, I'm gonna... Let me get a piece of uh, paper towel. I'm just gonna pop down and get rid of the extra uh, butter that's showing up here. Oh boy, that's, that is definitely not going to be right there, but I'm just going to pat down. I just want to soak up any of the extra margarine, but I definitely use too much. So, that definitely looks a lot better. Again, I'm going to microwave this, uh, probably 30 seconds this time, it's not that big.
Hey, Retro Gamer 500, uh, we're making a cheesecake, sort of. A no bake version of the cheesecake. Still a little... I'll be able to actually get this out when it freezes, when it cools off a bit. Okay, so this one looks a lot better. And now, we're going to fill it up. And guys, I honestly wish I can I can let you guys taste this, because this legitimately tastes like cheesecake. So I got the cheesecake. This is basically your cheesecake mix. So fill this up. Come on, there you go. So try to spoon this out a bit. At least to even it out a bit. Like look at look at this. This literally looks like freaking cream like like you would get a uh, you know, cream cheese. This I, uh, when I tasted it, it really legitimately felt like cream cheese, like cheesecake to be honest. All right, just gonna use my fingers to basically spread it out. And basically, after that, you put this in the fridge. Yes, uh, uh, GT Final Bite uh, Alpha. Final, uh, final, uh, final bout. Sorry. But yeah, that's basically your main cheesecake right there. So now, basically, we're gonna take this in the fridge. And you cool it, uh, you basically gotta cool it at least four hours. Uh, unfortunately, the one I made didn't exactly turn out well. I'm gonna bring that out in a second. So I'm gonna let that in the fridge, let it cool down. Now. Uh, this is the one I made earlier. As you can see, it doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look as good. It's still runny, but, but and uh, and I didn't really mix the uh, I didn't really mix the uh, the, the filling as well. Uh, but see, I, this is my this was my earlier tap. I this was more successful. I would have brought this out and like you would have tasted it, but unfortunately, this is what it is. And sad to say, this is gonna have to go to the trash because this is not good at all. But hopefully, the one I just made just now. Tastes a lot better. Actually, literally, legitimately tastes like cream cheese. I don't think cheesecake. And, uh, uh, I'll give you an update tomorrow. Uh, see how that actually turned out to be. So. But, anyway. So. So, that is, uh, I tried it. Um, uh, Rat, I tried it. It tastes too much like, uh, it tastes too much like uh, like vanilla pudding. The problem was like I couldn't. I I base the mistake. The big mistake I made was I broke. Uh, I used the, uh, the cream cheese I used. Uh, it was basically straight out of the fridge, so it didn't. Uh, 
it didn't it didn't it wasn't soft enough and then I couldn't mix it as well. And it turned out like that basically and you could see like it didn't firm up at all. It's supposed to firm up in the fridge. I let I put I popped that one in the fridge about like the uh I wanna say like eleven thirty this morning. Uh no, J Crew was just basically uh like what you get like Philadelphia cream cheese basically, what you get in the store. But uh but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, this was actually a lot of fun. I never done any. I know I've never done anything like this before. So uh, hey, <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, I I'll get to do this another time. But I can't exactly. I don't know when. So, but anyway, uh, that that FedEx out friend was calling my name. I'm gonna go grab some. Uh, so again, thank you everybody for being here today. I do appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, crap. Uh, one such problem. Uh, I gotta think about this. Uh, alright, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Alright, we're gonna, I'm, we're gonna raid out. I'm pretty sure Stunati's on. I'm gonna raid her. In one second. Maybe I'll order out because I'm hungry for sure. But yeah, thank you guys, everybody. Uh, so, uh, let's see. So, uh, Kona, we're gonna read. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sunati's on at this point. Uh, if not, is she on? I want to read her. Not, I don't get a. I don't always get a chance to read her. So you know, she's on. Uh, and yes, I will be. I will be back on tonight. In my normal time, we'll be continuing. Uh, we're gonna be continuing. Uh, uh, Gauntlet Legends. So we'll be there. So again, thank you, thank you, everybody. Again, this was a lot of fun. I never done anything like this before, but uh, but yeah, this was actually good. So either way, thank you, everybody. Let me go read Sonati again. I never usually get to read her, so this is a good chance. This is a good opportunity right here. Yeah, get that going. So again, thank you everybody again for being here. I'm glad you guys had fun. Uh, I definitely had a lot of fun. Uh, well, again, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back on later tonight. Uh, we'll be continuing. Uh, we're gonna be continuing. Uh, Gone of Legends. I'll see you then. But now I'm getting hungry. I want that that FedEx sheet out for is calling for me. I'm gonna go eat. So thank you everybody. So I'll see you next time. Bye. drink that right for Christmas like uh, with the mushrooms or something like it's, it's like that I am praying but today was oh it was awful golden chef the chef is here <laughs> welcome welcome in oh thank you so much golden welcome raiders <laughs> It's hot cocoa and marshmallows. Oh man, we're talking about food and drink actually. How was the stream, Golden? Welcome in, my friend. Chris, nice to meet you. Welcome. Hi. In fact, I stopped caffeine uh, altogether, so I will still have a regular tea once I. Oh, nice, nice. J Dog, welcome, guys. Laura, hi, honey. Welcome, welcome. How was that? How was the stream? You're, you're doing something different. Awesome. Awesome, Golden. You're getting more praise than me. More praise than me. I'm still on the first stage. <laughs> Alpha, hi. Thank you, Jaden, for the contributions. So nice to see you guys. Chinese tea, oolong, and puer. I need to, I need to, I need to explore more tea. I, hopefully, next year here uh, all the um, things that I, I can import export you know all the deal we have in Argentina we can have a more flexibility let's say let's say it that way so hopefully I can I can yeah I can have some PO box or something like that and we can share the things 
better than that now, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, nice to see you all. Thank you so much, Cotton, again for the raid. Uh, hey, Rob, nice to see you. How often, Cotton? <laughs> I think he did it. He did it a few times. He did it a few times, yeah. No, it's not pretty common, but yeah. JP, ¿cómo estás? Bienvenido. I want to cross. Yeah, in red or nice, nice. It, it, it's nice sometimes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that it's not nice.